Hey guys, what's going on? Prof Snipe here, and I'm proud to present this episode of Breakdown featuring the brand new melee weapon, the Kukri Blade. This is the first time in Battlefield Play for Free history that a new melee weapon is in stores. So for this video, I will not really be reviewing the knife, but I will do things a tiny bit different. This will highly resemble a mixture of the reviews, breakdown, and verses. If you are like me, you probably wonder to yourself, what the heck is this blade? How is it different than the combat knife? And why does it even look like that? Don't worry, this video will answer everything. First of all, this thing is called the Kukri Blade. Its place of origin is Nepal, which is that country right under China and over India. It's also that country with the odd flag, which is not rectangular. Now the Kukri Blade has a curved shape for a knife, and that serves as many purposes. First of all, the knife is a symbol of Nepal, and it is used both in wars and in the daily life. Policemen, soldiers, warriors, you name it, these guys all use the Kukri Blade. The main purpose of this blade is to chop and slash. The angle helps to do that without twisting the wrist too much and also bends the blade towards the enemy, which greatly helps in knife fights and really gives you an edge against your opponent. The other way this weapon is used is actually as a tool. In Nepal, the Kukri is used as an agricultural tool for cutting, digging, and even skinning animals. Apart from giving you a history lesson, I'm actually here to let you know what this bad boy does on the battlefield. First, you want to know that this thing is available to all classes and is unlocked at level 30. Once you reach that level, you can purchase the Kukri for 63,000 credits or 1,999 funds. If not that level, you can buy this melee weapon for 13,199 funds. This is a different blade than the combat knife, not only aesthetically but stats wise. These blades are really long, meaning that they will have a longer range, and this is the case with the Kukri. Its range is longer than the combat knife's. For people looking to have a new knife with more range, this is for you. If you find yourself always missing your knife hits because you're too far, this is for you. However, if you're looking to spam the knife at close range, this is not for you. This weapon has a range of 2.25 meters and a cooldown time of 0.85 seconds, compared to the standard knife which has a range of 1.5 meters and a cooldown of 0.7 seconds. Let me assure you that both these stats are noticeable. You will notice the change. Certain stats for other weapons are neglectable because you simply don't feel it, but not in this case. The Kukri Blade and the Combat Knife are like black and white. They are opposites. I made a cooldown comparison here and I slowed down the progress bar so that you can easily distinguish which one is faster than the other one. And in this case, you can see that the Combat Knife is faster. Finally, I wanted to share my thoughts on the melee weapon. First things first, I was shocked that Easy would introduce another melee weapon since I didn't really think that it would be beneficial. Second thing, the knifing animation does look weird. It almost looks like you're brushing the enemy with a boomerang, but it would be cool if one of the animations was like a, a chopping animation, which like I said is a very important point for the Kukri. It would also be a bit more refreshing to see. But overall, it's a cool new piece of equipment on the battlefield. Normally, I tend to give ratings for my reviews and such, but honestly, there isn't much to base my critic on, and to be completely honest, it does not really serve much other than a close quarters weapon. After all, it is a knife, not a primary, not even a secondary. You're not going to be digging out vegetables with this thing, well, not in the game at least, and if you were to make a choice between buying this or sticking to your combat knife, ask yourself this, how often do I get into CQC, and when I do, am I a knife spammer, or do I calculate the perfect time to strike? Because either way, whichever you are, there is a relative up and down, which is range and a cooldown time. Well, that pretty much does it for today's video on the Kukri Blade. I hope you guys did enjoy and learned something new apart from stats and knife performance in a game. If you did, please make sure to leave a like rating. It greatly helps out the channel, reaches it to other people. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. I post content like this almost every other day for Battlefield Play for Free. My name is Professor Snipe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.